Hey guys, Josh here, CrossFit Rima, talking Wednesday's workout. But before we do, I uh, had an athlete that reached out to me the other day and asked about shin splints or a shin splint-like feeling, kind of a heat around the front of the lower leg. Uh, and it wasn't while running. It was with air squats. And I wanted to go over a quick test to see if it might be a tightness in the back of the ankle, somewhere near the heel, Achilles, something like that. And it's with a couple risers or plates or whatever it is. And your next air squat workout, again, this is a test just to see if it is really tight calves, Achilles, something like that, that need to be worked on. You would put these underneath of your heel and squat during your next air squat heavy volume workout, which we just happen to have coming up in a few days with Murph. So what I do, Again, if I'm experiencing that weird sort of pain in the front, I can man up with heat. I don't need to have anything on my, I can totally wear Olympic shoes for this, or I can just worry about putting plates down, especially if it's in a workout where I might be running, and then I would do my air squats as such. Now, if that immediately takes the pain away, we may have a very lower limb tightness in the back, causing pain at the front. Okay, so let's get to Wednesday's warm-up. Wednesday's warm-up. So I'm going to continue that pattern of my squat. I like that. I'm going to use the plates since they're already there. I'm going to go all the way down, and I'm going to try to touch my knees. And we'll count that as four, so on and so forth. So that's going to be my first component. We'll call that a knee touch. Shocking. We'll do 10 of those total. And then we'll go to our next component. If that doesn't work, just try to flex into the knee, uh, so on and so forth, to get some sort of movement internally and externally to start to warm the hips up, okay? So my next component, we'll call it a swing set. Get my plates out of the way. Position, raise up, press through, come back, press through, come back, so on and so forth. And that's my swing set in my hips. If I can, are off of the ground the entire way. And if I go up into table, press through for shoulder extension, and then that's it, and I have to set my hips back down, totally fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna end it with a spider lunge with a reach. Best stretch ever, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, it's gonna look like this. Okay, I'll set it up. Down into a spider, keep the back leg up. Reach. And I reach of the leg that is forward, okay? And I will do three total rounds. I'll do 10 of the spiders, I'll do 10 of the swing sets, and then one, two, three, 10 knee touches, three rounds. For my strength piece, we're gonna continue with some single arm pressing, just like we did last week. I'm gonna use my trusty milk jug full of water and watch if it spills. I did not test this, so we'll see, but I'm gonna press it from split to enhance the demand on the midline and some other kind of stability components. So here's what it's gonna look like. Split stance does not mean knee on the ground. Okay, split stance does not mean knee on the ground. Back knee is still up. There's a, about a 90, 90 degree shape. I press from the side that is behind. So my right foot is going back. That's the side I press from. Press up, the water doesn't spill, success. Press up, the water doesn't spill, success. I'm not going to tempt fate. Press five sets of 10. Five sets of 10 right, five sets of 10 left. Yeah, that'll be my strength piece. Press from split, five sets of 10 on each side. For my conditioning piece, I'm going to continue some overhead stuff. And if I can, I'm going to do a variation of a single arm snatch, maybe a single arm press. So if you see there's both, I could do my single arm press like I'm continuing, but now I would do a push press instead of a strict press. So it gives me a little bit more movement pattern or a little bit more metabolic demand. But if I could, I'd want to have that snatch. Uh, single arm snatch that goes from forward to above or depression, like all of the things, all the things. We don't have to get technical about it, but that's what we're talking about. So if you watch, it's also going to be from the hang, which really loads the lower back in a nice way to give it rotation and strengthening there. So here's what that's going to look like. I'm going to again, again, testing the water bottle and the snatch is going to be even better, right? So my water jug snatch from the hang, I try to keep it from above the knee or thereabouts. So I don't want to go all the way down here and almost get to the floor. I want to go here. Totally did not spill. And again, one more time again. I try not to go too far, 
and that's going to look, you'll feel the one side get loaded, and then I go up, and then come back down. That's piece number one. I will do 15 of those on the right, and then I'll do 15 on the left. So 15 right, 15 left. Now my next piece, I'm gonna go straight into a single arm plank, kind of continuing that pattern from yesterday, or a side plank, uh, continuing that single arm plank from yesterday. So I'll go here. Again, hips should be one straight line as opposed to this funky corked banana. Come up through here. And I'll hold that 30 seconds. Switch to my other side, 30 seconds, 15, 15. If that doesn't work, maybe I'm doing my push press, which is going to look like this. So now I get dip and drive, dip and drive. Again, either way, maybe it's that dumbbell snatch that works for 15 each side or that push press for 15 each side. And then I follow that up with a right side, 30, uh, with a 30 second right side plank, left side, 30 second side plank. I'll do that for five rounds. For my cool down, I'm gonna do table for a couple minutes, child's for a couple minutes, and these aren't hard and fast standards, these are more like make change feel better, okay? This is what that looks like. Table position, you're gonna go up, extend as much as you can. You can also start rocking into it, kinda of like we did the swing set from earlier, and then with my child's pose, And I'll do that for, again, at least two-minute therapeutic dosage to get through both of those. And then I'll, that will be Wednesday's workout.